to the dancing, and now we have the senior Krilachi dancers performing a polka. Tanej Starshi Krilachi Polka.
perform a dance called Chase the Wind. Tanesh Mochikrilachi Honebita.
letter from the Ukrainian embassy. Pani jako dočítáte list ambasády. Drahá ukrajinská hromadná platforma. Přejmíš naštěstí vítání z náhody světkována 60-letního jubileu i z nována ukrajinské hromadné platformy. Bohaté dobré a korektní zprávy bylo zrobleno neodném pokrýnám ukrajinské platformy. Ty by dano borališ za nezaležnost Ukrajiny. A být kolé Ukrajina stala nezaležnou, hromada na pohledu pračovala. Ta pračuje na odtvrženě a odtvrženou nezaležnostnou državy v světě. Pít prevěřel čeho stano, peněťa místoho radoju, místa rýšeně pro vyznaná holodomoru, tež v 1932. do 1934. roči v Ukrajině, ne na generaciám ukrajinského narodu. Bratvár stál od nejmz pěrších míst spoločného koristitrovstva, kde i z inakcia na předpřímáte ukrajinské hromady bylo přeňáte pošlebe dla Ukrajiny rýšeně. Maj buď ne vypadají ukrajinský týždeň u Bratvárky vytvovají vše u velikodní dní, jaký u našemu narodí a stavství zaklopne a naoplňa nadějí na Marbutne. Nechají s místovem ta veselým bude vaše světlo. Nechají místnou ta družnou bude ukrajinská hromada. Kristos Voskres Pobahoju i Harčenko. I would now like to invite the Lord Mayor of Keithley to say a few words. Firstly, I've got to say is, wow, I am absolutely amazed what you have done as a community in Bradford. Keeping your roots, keeping your traditions. And I was saying to Nick earlier, you know, as a community, as a Pakistani community, we haven't done that. We haven't kept our roots, which you have. And you should be proud of what you've actually done. <laughs> Somebody asked me earlier, what's the most important thing that I've done this year as a mayor of Kingley? And for me, it was actually supporting the Ukrainian community regarding the Lord of War. For me, I didn't support one person or individual or a friend. I support her nation. And God willing, on the day of judgment, when I stand in front of my Lord, I will say as a human being, I did what was right. When my dear friend and former deputy mayor of Keighley, Nick Lystrup, approached me in the spring of 2008 to secure my support for the campaign to recognise the Holodomor as genocide, I, at first, to be honest, did not realise how important the issue was. My friendship with Nick goes back to 2002, when we both as councillors on Keighley Town Council became involved on work in the council, and I soon realised Nick's passion for the town where he lives and works, but his deep love for all which is Ukrainian. For me, Nick is Ukraine, because the first time I ever met a Ukraine was through Nick, and through, and through that, my, my love for Ukraine actually grew. I often, attend, I often attended events in Keighley and Bradford, and indeed had the pleasure to meet, to have met his late father, from whom I have learned of what Nick's parents went through during the war years and how the Ukrainian people settled here in the United Kingdom to live in a country far, uh, far and from fear of persecution. This freedom is clearly very valued by the Ukrainian people, but one only appreciates something which has been lost. When I was asked to receive the total remembrance which is touring the world, I was absolutely honoured to welcome the representatives from the Ukrainian Embassy and the President of the Ukrainian World, World Congress, Mr. I'm hoping I pronounce this right, 
Askell was Miss Chief of the council chamber, which was packed with a great number of councillors, and to my astonish astonishment, probably the whole of the Ukrainian community from Keithley. I have never seen the chamber so full with people standing in the passages. That's when it actually dawned upon me I would open and how significant this event was. The laying of flowers in the town hall square was a further moving moment. The symbol of remembrance for those who laid their lives down for freedom and democracy. It is clear that the remembrance service held in November each year, at which I recall the Ukrainian community have always taken part, is a further point of reminder of the fact that sacrifices made by so many of all nations in the name of freedom. Mr. Lozniczki gave a detailed and concise report of the atrocities perpetrated on the Ukrainian nation by Stalin during 1932 and 1933, and how over 7 million Ukrainians, many of them children, who died as a result of Stalin's wish to exterminate and subjugate the Ukrainian people, thus bringing Ukraine even deeper into the Russian sphere of domination and final annexation. I gave my word that I would do what I could to raise the awareness of what happened. And in September, at the full meeting of Kiki Town Council, Nick Meister presented a motion from the Ukrainian community in Keithley, formally asking that Kiki Town Council recognize the Holodomor as genocide. The motion went through unanimously, and Kiki Town Council became the first council in the United Kingdom to have recognized genocide against the Ukrainian nation. In November, I was asked to attend a commemorative service in Westminster Central Hall, which I attended together with former Keithley Mayor Councillor Graham Mitchell and Liberal Democrat, a Democrat Councillor Judith Brooksman, together with the Ukrainian community from Keithley and their friends. The memorial concert was very moving, and I was brought to tears. And even though I was unable to understand the words of the singing, the whole aura of the event was so moving, it brought a tear to my eyes, knowing that so many people had suffered at the hands of Stalin, the recollection of the survivors was horrific. It was an honour also to have met the descendants of two British and Welsh journalists, the son of Malcolm Muldridge and niece of Gareth Jones, Dr. Cyril Coyley, who both received Oscar awards from the Ukrainian president presented by the Ukrainian ambassador in London in recognition of their exposing the famine at the time. Both journalists were discredited by the authorities at the time, Gareth Jones losing his life as a result in Manchuria at the hands of the KGB. Without these independent eyewitness reports, the truth may never have been reported. I was humbled by being in the presence of such distinguished company. Even song was equally moving and laid on the candles afterwards by the children in remembrance of the many innocent lives lost during the discard period in Ukrainian history was so important. I have always been aware of Nick's work in Kiev and within the Ukrainian community in the town and was present when the representative of the Ukrainian embassy informed Nick at the time in November that he had been nominated to receive the Ukrainian Prince Award. I was literally standing two feet away from Nick and he was actually in tears. I was so proud and honoured to actually be standing there. For me, that was a, a very special moment, which I can't actually describe in words. I recall, Nick, your face was full with emotions, and the comments you made at that time that he had not done anything special, only that which is, was his duty to for Ukraine, and that he did not feel worthy to receive any award. I don't believe that Nick represented the Ukrainian community just in Kingston. I believe the Ukrainian community in Bradford played an important part because Nick was brought up in Bradford. So Nick's major education came through here, not through the schools, also through the love of his elders and through the love of his friends and his community. I was so pleased to announce to Keithley Council early in the new year that Nick had been recognized by President Yushchenko and awarded the Ukrainian President's Service Medal underlying the excellent work which Nick had done in raising awareness of the Ukrainian genocide in the United Kingdom 
and the importance of the decision reached by King Town Council. It is so important the events of 1932 and 1933, the genocide perpetrated against Ukraine, be properly, be properly recorded. We always say we will not forget. If you don't record things, how are you going to remember? How are your children going to remember? And your grandchildren, and they going to remember? It's about actually recognizing and recording as humanity, as people, can we actually move forward? As my year has deeply made us to an end, I feel honored and humbled.